Okay, y'all, thanks for clicking on this video. Check out some other stuff if you haven't. But what we have today, this is another benchtop review, is what I like to call these, is the Beretta Bobcat 21A, and this one is in 25 ACP, as you can see right here. Now, I've owned a number of these, and we'll make sure it's clear. It is clear, as you can see right there. We'll talk about that here in a second. I've owned a number of these tip-up barrel Berettas over the years, and I've always liked them. I mean, I think I think it's a nice little uh, a nice little niche that they fill for people who don't have the strength to, uh, you know, possibly rack that slide back. And granted, it is it is kind of a stiff a stiff slide. But it's it's a nice little convenience factor for it, and like most Berettas, very good quality. They always seem to be very well made, um, very nice quality firearms. This particular one is made in USA. Uh, where is that at? Let's let's take a closer look here. Beretta USA Corp, Ack, Maryland. I think that is actually sort for Akokeek. Akokeek, Maryland. Forgive me if I'm butchering that. This one, as you can see, is uh, gently used. We'll take a few little pans over this. I've had a couple of these in 25 ACP over the years, and this is the best one I've had. I do wish that, and I don't know if they even make it like this, but I do wish that it had a nice little sight picture right there. I do wish that it was blued with walnut grips, and I thought about putting some walnut grips on this one with the black, um, I guess it's a parkerized finish on the steel, and then the aluminum down here is probably some sort of anodized finish. But they are nice little, nice quality little guns. I mean, I've uh, I've always enjoyed them. They've always ran pretty decent. I will say the 25 ACP ones seem to run a bit more reliable than the uh, 22 long rifle versions. 22 long rifle ones that I've had can be a little bit ammo picky, but once you find an ammunition that they like, they run great. This one, I have put, oh, I don't know, 100 rounds through it, and I think I had one hiccup one time, if I remember right. It wasn't a failure to extract. It was some sort of failure to feed or something like that, if I remember right. It was quickly, quickly cleared. So I do carry this occasionally and I know a lot of people might scoff at carrying a 25 ACP but better to have something than nothing at all I will say that much these are again very unique so let me explain to you how to work this is a, a double action single action semi-automatic pistol so that means your first shot you'll have a long heavy trigger pull right Okay, a big old long heavy trigger pull. But the subsequent shot after that, once the pickle, once the pickle, <laughs> once the pistol uh, slide reciprocates goes back and forth, you'll have a shorter single action trigger pull for each shot after that. Okay, now that's advantageous. I mean, advantageous, advantageous. Yeah, you can tell I was a very educated in Arkansas, but that's uh, advantageous in many ways. A lot of people like having, like myself, I do like having that good, long, heavy trigger pull for the first round and the subsequent rounds, you know, ha having a much shorter, uh, much shorter trigger pull when you might need some accuracy, a lot more accuracy is very desirable in my opinion. Now, the other advantage that we talked about a while ago is you don't have to rack the slide on this. To load this, someone can take, assume this magazine is fully loaded, someone could take a fully loaded magazine, put it in the spot. You don't have to rack it. You just pop your barrel up right here. You can drop a single 25 ACP round into that, close it, and you're good to go. You've got a round chambered. That first shot is gonna be the long, heavy, double action trigger pull, or if you wanted to, you can thumb back the hammer for the first shot if a person decided to do so. It does have a safety on it. You can see right here. I personally don't use it. I do appreciate that it's there, but I also appreciate that it's a hard safety. It has a very defined click and it's, it, it indexes very well. So I don't ever really worry about this safety inadvertently being clicked on in a panic situation. Uh, and like I said, I normally carry it with the safety off unless I'm around a bunch of the grandkids or something like that. And sometimes I'll thumb the safety on if I'm carrying this. But I do know that anytime you have a safety on a weapon, 
it's best to train with it. Make it a habit when you draw this to thumb that safety off. Even if you already have it off, to me, it's just good training to do that. Now, a lot of people will say, well, a 22 long rifle is better than a 25 ACP. And I don't argue that in some respects. And you know, when you look at ballistics, I do have a couple of mags, three mags for this one, actually. Um, but I will say this. I've had, if you get a 22 long rifle that runs reliably, great. The, to me, the greatest weakness with 22 long rifle is having uh, rounds that just don't go off. You know, the, the, it's a rimfire round, and sometimes you occasionally run into one. It doesn't matter how hard you hit it, that thing will just not go off. It just have bad primer. Well, John Moses Browning, if you don't know who that is, you know, well, I don't know who you are, but I did talk about his history on my video I did recently for the Colt uh, 1903, the, uh, po the pocket hammerless. But John Moses Browning, in his infinite wisdom, saw that problem with 22 long rifle and he developed the 25 ACP which as you can see is not a rim fire and it has an actual primer on it but these are one of the many rounds that he developed to help uh, to, to help the, where he saw a need a niche for that particular round in the marketplace so yeah he came up with the 25 ACP and you know, you hear all these stories, stupid stories. Oh, you shoot him with it. He's going to be really mad and things like that. You know, um, talk to any cop, do any research and stuff like that. To me, a gun is a gun. As soon as the they start going off and bullets start flying, you're looking to end the threat. That's the way I look at it. You're looking to end the threat. So I do not feel undergunned at all. I don't feel undergunned when I carry a 22 long rifle. You know, as long as I have something on me is what uh, is what I like. This one is kind of unique too. <clears throat> Let me show you this. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Let me see here. I don't think it shows. Yeah, it's too hard to see. Okay. The mainspring. Okay, you can see it right there. See that little thing right there above my finger? Not, not the barrel release, but this little thing right there. Watch how that slides back. See that? That's the mainspring in this weapon. It engages on both sides. <coughs> what it is, it's a spring underneath the grip that counters back like this. So you don't have a coil spring or anything like that in the slide area. That's that's your main spring, the way it engages into that, which is pretty cool. And these are pretty easy to take down. I won't do it here because YouTube doesn't like me doing that. But uh, basically, you just flip this barrel all the way forward like this, and it disengages the slide, and the slide pops off, and then you have a quick field strip. But that's it, folks. That's my little Beretta 21A and 25 ACP. I got a pretty good deal on this one. At least I like to think I did. Okay, sorry about the interruption. Um, hopefully through the magic of video editing, I can make it very limited interruption, but I just had a customer call in, and so always got to take care of the customers first. But let's take a quick look at this. Let's see how much it weighs. Now we will get an empty weight first. 12.3 ounces, not bad. And let's go ahead and resume a loaded weight. It is an eight round magazine. And then assuming you carry one in the chamber, 13.9 ounces. Not too awful bad really, um, in consideration of having nine rounds on tap of uh, you know good reliable ammunition. So, and I will note too that this is what I usually carry in my 25s and this is a Fiocchi. I believe it's Fiocchi. Fiocchi. However you want to pronounce it. Yeah, it's Fiocchi and it's just their um, their full metal jacket 25 ACP. I tend to like Fiocchi mainly because my picky eaters, and this one's not a picky eater. This one has shot just pretty much everything I put through it, but a lot of my picky eaters like my kel P32, they always run great on these, uh, these little Fiocchi, Fiocchi rounds. Let me show you a real quick shot of the box, too. 
this is the box that this particular coming came in. Now, you know, something Breda did that I don't like. It's just a low molded plastic box, typical warnings. They started production of these in 1984. And I know some of the earlier ones had paper boxes and I'm not complaining about the box. I like the plastic one better, of course. I was gonna look this up by serial number on the Breda website and date it. And they took that down. They used to have a, a record on their website where you go and punch in a Breda serial number that would tell you the year manufacturer and other details about the weapon. But uh, for some reason, uh, they took it down. I don't know why. But uh, so I haven't been able to date this one, but I would probably put it at around just looking at it. I don't know. Hell, I'd probably ballpark it probably somewhere late 90s, maybe something like that. As far as I know, I believe Beretta is still making this. Occasionally, they'll do a production of it, and I guess it's one of the few 25 ACP still being made. Um, let me think here. PSA, Precision Small Arms, with their Baby Browning clone, that's still being made. I think Phoenix Arms has a 25 ACP. Um, and someone else out there does too. I can't remember who it is, but yeah, this is one of the few 25 ACP still being made. I like it. You know, to me, it's a nice little, it's it's a nice look. And now it is fat and beefy, like most of these little tip-up barrels, but that gives you a good handhold for sure. You know, and it's still definitely easy to pocket carry. So let me know what y'all think. If you have any questions about it, drop it down in the comments. Thanks for watching my videos. You guys be safe out there.